So Tony, would you agree with this that that usually people don't really pay that much attention to who the vice presidential candidate when they walk is when they walk into the voting booth? They're they're looking at who they want to vote for for president. But this year might be different because of McCain's age, and because of you know all these concerns. God forbid that anything could happen to Obama. Don't you think people will focus on the VP more? No. You don't? <laughs> no. I, I know the argument. I just believe that people vote the top of the ticket. There's no way in the world that a fellow or woman's going to walk in the booth and said, I like this guy for president. I don't like that one, but I like his vice presidential choice, well, I'm, so I'm going to choose him. Okay, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you're nervous about voting for McCain for whatever well, reason, and you're nervous about voting for Obama for yeah, other reasons. I think if, if either comes candidate picks a, a sure loser, Mm -hmm. Then that becomes an issue. But assuming they put somebody who's plausible, then well, let's assume they're going th to do that. Well, not always the case, yeah, as you right. know. I mean, Bush picked Quayle, mm -hmm. which was which was a detriment to his whole campaign. Right. Uh, so it, it, sometimes you pick someone who, who who is a drag the whole campaign. But assuming both of them pick somebody who is seemingly competent right. and has no scandals, then I think after the initial story, we see the families together, and then they drift off, they do the, the B so, circuit, and you never hear of them so again. So the London odds makers apparently have Evan Bayh, the governor, the former governor of Indiana, now senator from Indiana, as the way favorite for uh, Barack Obama to pick. I don't think it's going to, I don't think Obama's going to pick anybody who voted for the war. So who, who does that leave? Jack Reed, the senator, not very well known, the senator from Rhode Island, very good, West Point Vietnam mm -hmm. veteran, uh, mm -hmm. maybe Tim Kaine, the governor of, uh, of uh, Virginia. In a way, you know, he, he maybe shouldn't take a senator. What do you think? Well, I've been close to a couple of vice presidential decision makings, and they're the most personal things that happen in politics. The candidate, at the moment that he or she is deciding to make the decision, considers all the pressure on, yeah. on him, all the calculations, and then his own personality reflects through on that, and he makes a choice. Uh, Reagan made a very quick choice with Bush mm -hmm. in, in 80. He wanted to end the speculation about him sharing a presidency with Jerry Ford. And so I, you have so to, I think, think you have to know the candidate. I think Obama is extremely confident of himself. Right. He does not think he needs to balance him with someone that, with more experience. And my guess is he's going to go with somebody who th thinks he does some political good and that he can live with. Okay, how about McCain? He has to take Romney, right? Isn't that the no, conventional I, wisdom? I, that's the <laughs> conventional <laughs> wisdom. I've been, I've been publicly... Romney the, Romney, the former governor of Massachusetts, but who's really from Michigan. Michigan, and, and who yeah. carried Michigan, and Michigan's right. so, an interesting okay, state. Okay, so how do you handicap the Republican side? I've always thought that McCain would pick somebody quirky because he's got a quirky personality. I don't know who it would be, whether it be a Liebman or a Ridge or someone who, who would further outrage the base. But McCain is fully capable of, of making that kind of decision. Uh, I don't think it will reflect his, his staff's judgment. I think it will probably be uh, a McCainite kind of a decision.